everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This is just a very quick video just showing you the lid for the stepper box card that I shared on Monday. Turns out that the order of the scoring that I gave was, was incorrect um, and I'm here to show you the correct way. So this will be linked in in a little um, drop down on that video. So when you get to that part, you should have the drop down, click on that and it will take you to this video, okay? So you need your piece of six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And what you wanna do is pull your cardstock out from the side of your scoreboard here. So if I just bring it up, so there's the card butted right up into that corner. And then if you see, if I just pull it out slightly, it reveals the bottom of my scoreboard. So you don't wanna pull it right up to that one eighth of an inch marker, your first marker, which is there. Don't pull it out that far, just, just like that, about halfway. Okay, by pulling it out, it's gonna give you that extra length for the lid to sit over the box, okay? And we want that nice tight closure. So six and a quarter by six and a quarter, pull the cardstock out and score at one inch and two inch, okay? And then score at four and a quarter and five and a quarter. I've just scored at four and three quarters for some reason. Ignore that, you wanna score at four and a quarter and five and a quarter. Then rotate your cardstock and pull it out exactly the same way that you did before and score at one inch and two. Push it back in and score at four and a quarter and five and a quarter, okay? So now ignore that end where I've got that funny score line, but you will have, in all four corners, you will have four squares, so four smaller squares, okay? You want to cut down them like this. So you're going past the first score line down to the second and then again, down to the first, down past the first, down to the second. A lot of you will know what you're doing now, so you'll probably turn off and carry on. This is just um, how you make a reinforced lid. And then you just wanna take little wedges off of your tabs, like that, and then just off the top, like so. Then flip it right round so that is now facing away from you and repeat the same here. Okay, so that's now what you should have. I'm also just gonna take a little wedge off of those ones there, and that one there. It just makes folding it all in easier. Fold and burnish all of your score lines. You can do that before or after, it doesn't really matter too much. And then on these four tabs, so you've got one, two, three, four, just add some glue. two at a time and you just want to bring them in, bring the tabs inside and bring up the sides of your box. Now you want to make sure that you're getting a really nice right angle. If you bring that in too much it will not fit. So again you do have to be really precise with this especially again because we're working with a reinforced lid. So you want to make sure that those angles are perfectly right ang perfect right angles. <laughs> and then again pop some glue on this one and this one, fold them in, bring up the sides there. Again, concentrating on the corners, like so. Now what I would suggest at this stage is these ones here, just pull them out and with your piece here is pop it over the top and you can see there it fits perfectly. Now some of you might prefer that to keep it like that. If that's the case, I'm gonna keep that one here. Here's one I've already prepared, because I'm just, again, I'm just conscious that I wanna make sure that this is gonna obviously work for everybody. What you can do is just leave the lid like that and actually then remove these. So if you're a bit worried, because what you can do is fold them all in on themselves, okay? Don't glue it, just fold them all in and then pop it over and it will fit. And it's very snug, and that was my intention. I wanted it to be very snug because this isn't joined here. So I just wanted to make sure that that was gonna stay there and none of your stuff was gonna fall out. If you're worried when you put that on, it feels just too tight still, then just take these out. That's why I say don't glue them down. Check it all first. Just kind of bring them all back out again. And you can just go around and just cut off the edges. And it will just give you a normal lid rather than a reinforced lid. So again, just very neatly, just kind of remove the score line really, because you're gonna be decorating these afterwards anyway. But I just wanted to give you another option really. And it's very easy to cut it and keep it nice and straight. So now we've just got a single-sided lid 
and you can pop that on over the top okay so that's that way if you are sticking with the reinforced lid then all you need to do now is just pop some wet glue just on these three uh, four sides <laughs> fold them all in and then with your bone folder just go on in it just flatten all that glue out and really crease the edges there so you give yourself a really nice lid so I've got my reinforced lid which fits on perfectly and then I've also got my just standard lid which also fits on it's a little bit looser but it still fits on okay so there's two styles there and you can choose which way you want to do but by not sticking them down straight away and testing it then you can see where you are with it and hopefully it will all work fine okay so now you'll be able to finish off your box thanks for watching bye